Welcome to the Post Show Debrief. Thanks for being with us. Uh, a, a big news day. Uh, the United Nations Security Council voting on uh, a resolution to, to carry out, for the United States, for crying out loud, to carry out airstrikes uh, against uh, Libya, against Muammar Gaddafi's forces, and to impose a no-fly zone. A sharp and sudden reversal of policy by the administration and suddenly standing before the Security Council asking for the opportunity to send our forces into combat against against Muammar Gaddafi's forces in Libya. That is, for the United States to carry out acts of war against a sovereign nation, whether you like Muammar Gaddafi or you don't, that is the clear, clear direction that we are talking about this country going in. Carrying out an act of war without consultation with the Congress or the American people, within 24 hours this administration deciding to seek that authority not from the American people, not from the U.S. Congress as required by the Constitution, but from the United Nations, for crying out loud. If that doesn't alarm you, concern you, and sicken you, what will it take? Because this is right now a government that is utterly out of control. We are at least fortunate that uh, a, a stopgap measure, the continuing resolution on spending, passed by the Senate, the president to sign it tomorrow. But is this political theater to continue? A government, if you will, on the installment plan every two or three weeks, a uh, continuing resolution and a few billion dollars taken out of a $3.7 trillion budget. Uh, we have elected officials with the best of intentions, some of them, playing at the margin instead of dealing with the real issues that confront this nation. Uh, that's going to be the subject of the Lou Dobbs Show for some time to come. And, of course, we're going to be following the, the nuclear disaster that is, uh, uh, at least uh, in terms of radioactive fallout, moving uh, from the shores of Japan uh, to the atmosphere over the United States. If the experts are right, we're going to be following that and, of course, continuing to hope and pray that those nuclear reactors and spent uh, fuel pools at the Fukushima Daiichi plant uh, can be brought under control or at least contained. And we continue to pray as well for those brave workers at that plant trying to contain and control this disaster. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being here with us in the post-show debrief. I wish that we could uh, uh, bring a smile to your face instead of add to the day's burdens, but uh, that is the nature of, uh, of events today in the world. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next on the radio or on Lou Dobbs tonight on the Fox Business Network, 7 p.m. Eastern. Join us both places. Thanks.